Hello everybody, uh, this week we're doing comic book characters and we're making a, a comic strip. So I have already made my comic characters. I've got two, I've got a goodie and a baddie and I've been thinking about Star Wars because it's, it's May the 4th this week, so May the 4th be with you all. Um, I've done a quick drawing of them all. So my good character is called Bob. Um, he's been orphaned, very sad. Not based on Luke Skywalker at all. Uh, his parents were killed in a battle. Um, he's very eager to learn, but he wants to be free. He feels like he's trapped in the world that he lives in, and he doesn't like it at all. Um, the bad guy is called Robotica. Robotica is, I'll try to hold him nice and still, uh, he is a uh, mainly made black and red. He's lots of angles. Uh, I've made his face look as skull-like as possible, in the bit like Darth Vader, um, except more robotic than that. And that is going to be his weakness, the fact that he has no empathy, the fact he, uh, he can't see beyond his own choice, he's too logical. Um, yeah, um, he is also megalomaniac and he wants to convert the world to be robots, so he's constantly assimilating people so that they will become his robot, robotic minions. He thinks that organics, organic people, organic life is disgusting and needs destroying. So those are my two characters. I did these sketches very, very quickly and I've got them ready. Uh, what I need to do now is start thinking about how I'm gonna lay out my story. Now my story is gonna be quite simple. Uh, Bob is on a ship. The ship gets destroyed by Roboticus forces. Uh, Bob ejects from the ship in a, an escape pod and ends up uh, crash landing in a, a planet and he meets an old man and the old man turns out uh, to know about Robotica very very well because he designed and made Robotica in the first place uh, and then uh, the old man tells Bob what the weakness is and or what Robotica's weakness is and then uh, Bob will go and destroy Robotica in an explosive finale. So that is basically my plot of my life. It's the same plot as certain films that you may have heard. In fact, it's the plot of a lot of action films and a lot of uh, very old and traditional stories as well. So my story, I need to split up into various parts because if I'm gonna make a comic book on it, I need to have the different sections and the different parts of the pictures. So the first part will obviously be the introduction, which is you meet the character and you meet the setting. The character is Bob, the setting is his escape pod hurtling through space. The second part is where he's going to meet uh, the old man, whose name I haven't decided on yet. It won't be Obi-Wan Kenobi, it'll be something else. Uh, and basically he'll meet the old man when he crash landers, crash lands on his planet. Uh, the old man will reveal uh, that he is the inventor of Robotica. And then the boy, he will give the boy the information he needs to solve his problem. So the next part we come to in the Story Mountain is the climax. So that'll be the big battle. Robotica will be destroyed beautifully. And then the, the last of it, that'll be the conclusion. Things will be better than they were before. Uh, this is uh, not a tragedy. This is a fabulous, fabulous ending for Bob and for all humanity and all uh, living life in the universe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna write this down to a quick list so I've got an idea of where they are, and then I'm gonna start laying out my page. Okay, so I've got everything ready now. So I've got, I've got my sheet of paper, I've got my characters, and I've done my, my really quick plot. So I know I've got the introduction, uh, crash landing, uh, the problem is he's stuck, he needs to get out, finds out about Robotica and that bit, and then the next part here is where he goes to Robotica's base, then the end bit is everyone celebrates. I can see that the introduction needs to be brief. The crash landing is probably gonna be a few pieces in that. And then everyone celebrates at the end is gonna be brief. And this bit with the robotica in the middle is gonna be pretty big because it's where he meets him and he defeats him. I'm gonna use a pencil. Uh, I'm also gonna have some black uh, felt tips for later, but not for now. Uh, my pencil is not gonna to be too sharp and I'm not gonna press very um, heavily because I want to lay out the page. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to roughly, this is A3, it's quite big, I'm going to um, fold my page in half so I am ready. And I'm going to start off with my introduction. So my, my title, I need to put a title on there, so I'm going to put a box for my title there. And I'm going to write title very, very faintly in the top. This bit here, 
can be the crash landing. So I might make that one a little bit bigger. So it comes down like that and he can be crash landing there. Or maybe even across here. Um, here we have the planet. So the planet will be there. So this will be the planet. So this is crash. Planet. See how faintly I'm doing this. Um, and then old man's. And then this bit here, I can have for meeting the old man and revealing it. Uh, so I don't quite know how this is going to work out. I've got to put three pieces in there, I think. So meets the old man. Old man reveals that Robotica is his creation and knows how to defeat him. Gives him the thing that defeats him. And then he's going to travel on his journeys. And I'm going to make this a bit more exciting. So I'm going to have a thing that goes up the middle, which will be his spaceship whatever his ship is. Uh, and that's going to travel to the base. So the base is going to go here. And this is um, Robotica's base. So the first thing I'm going to have is Robotica here. Robotica. And I'm going to do that one. I'm just going to do a close-up of his head, actually, because I want his head nice and big there so people can see it. Um, threatens to defeat him. Um, and then uh, threats. And then the boy, uh, or Bob even, activates. Device, whatever it is and I might do that little box and then Robotica explodes it's gonna be here Robotica gone and then that is the end so there is my uh, my base my basic uh, layout of what I'm gonna do I've planned it like this so I know what's going to go where because each each bit is going to be a different picture and that's the thing if you're doing a, a comic then you're doing it all in bits so it's really important that you have your plot laid out like that and you know what's going on it doesn't have to be as complicated as this it could be a lot simpler you could just have four pictures with the introduction which is your setting and your character the problem what goes wrong the, solu the solution to that problem and the climax and then the final bit how is everything at the end? How is it better or worse? Um, yeah, so you could keep it as simple as that. That's my basic layout. I'm going to start adding the details now uh, in pencil. Right, so I've finished my design now. At the top here, I've got the title. Then I've got the first um, first part, which is where the ship explodes. I put his parent ship explodes because it makes it more mysterious. And then I did a bit where he's going to crash land on a planet. Um, this uh, speech bubble here is going to be from the computer, so I'm going to change the outline. So it's going to be a sort of a zigzaggy thing. I might change the colours. I might make it yellow. I think. See where he crashed land on the planet. Um, landed in front of the old man. The old man says, are you okay? Yes, sorry, my ship was destroyed by Robotica's fleet. Um, my computer saw your life signs and plotted a course. Robotica is still alive, is still active. He killed my parents. Sad bit here, which is why I've taken them out. So, you know, my name is Dr. Orton. I created them. Uh, he was supposed to help all life forms, now he wants to kill them. Um, this sort of positioning of, of the speech bubbles like this means you sort of follow the flow. Yeah, uh, it makes it a bit easier. And also pauses and stuff. There's a pause there, so you think there's a pause as he's speaking it. Uh, take this device and my ship, activate it, and the robotic presence, he will just self-destruct. There's the blast from the ship. 
There's the ship. I don't quite know what the ship's going to look like yet, but it'll look good. And there is Robotica's base. Robotica meets him. Um, one thing about speech bubbles here, uh, obviously my drawing has taken over a little bit, which is fine. Um, I could always make my speech bubbles later and stick them on, so they won't get in the way of the artwork. Um, I think that's quite a good idea, actually. Um, it also means that you don't get squished into a box. If you are doing speech bubbles, you need to write your bit out first and then put the bubble around it afterwards and that way it doesn't become huge or you don't end up getting squash writing and then the next part wait i have a message from dr orton so you can see here wait i have a message from dr orton that gives a, a sort of a gap if you like a dramatic pause and this is going to beep 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 beep, beep and it means it's going to explode which it does and everybody goes no and then the last shot, robotic is gone. Your uh, days of destruction are over. And then that is the end. So there is my overall layout of my comic book. I'm gonna start drawing it now uh, with felt tip and I'm gonna use a permanent pen like a Sharpie because later on when I color it in, uh, it won't bleed. Okay, so there is my finished uh, comic book so far. I've just got to colour it in. So, title, Escape from the Ship. I'll put the set of speech bubbles in. You can see from the different sets. So this one obviously here is not him speaking because he looks like this one. So this is obviously a computer. And uh, it crash lands look. I quite like this. This figure here is going to have a yellow light behind it. The rest is going to be very dark. So I'm starting to think of colour choices. Bob meets the light form, I changed that slightly. Again, you can see that, although it looks like he's saying it, there's obviously a conversation going on here. Because this person is saying these lines, and this person is saying these lines. And then that's the dramatic one, so I've put nobody in that one. Quite dramatic. And then take this device in my ship. Green evil subjects, for a good look, so that it goes whoosh all the way to the top. Robotica's base. What I'm going to do with this base is I'm going to colour in the base in black and I'm going to have the uh, windows in it yellow and I'm going to put a red uh, world behind it, which is what this is. Um, I think this world here is going to be green because it's he's one of the goodies. And this is going to be red because it's fire and it's baddiness. Uh, then we have his face here. Ha! I have you now, Bob. There'll be no time. No, there'll be no escape this time. Prepare to die. Wait, I have a message from Dr. Olsen. Beep, 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 beep. Um, and then he explodes. Um, if you want to know how to make these, uh, this writing, um, there are all the videos I've done on this, so feel free to have a go. Uh, your days are just over with the galaxy is safe once more. Finished. Robotica is dead. And you can see he's dead because he's got cross eyes at the top. And then at the end, I put the end for now, because I don't know, maybe I feel like doing another chapter in this book. Uh, I'm going to colour it in now and uh, see what's what. Okay, there's my finished results. I've taken a time to do my colouring in. I've done lots of layering in certain places. As you can see there, but also it's closing that one. Layered bits in there. Put stuff with the light colours and gone dark. Um, like the base there, the robotic space. As you can see, nice and colourful. I used a, a dry white pen as well to do the space because space was quite hard. Anyway, I hope you like it. I can't wait to see yours.